What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Yu Gi Oh! Duelings video. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to unlock Kid Moto Dragon. Let's get on to it. So, Kid Moto Dragon is a character that you have to unlock through battling Mokuba Kaiba in Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links. Issue is though, is that Mokuba Kaiba is a roaming duelist and he's only here for a limited time. He's going to be here through August 22nd through August 28th. So if you're watching this video and it's not any one of those dates, at this current moment you cannot unlock Kid Moto Dragon any other ways except by playing the game during that specific date. To get him, you have to battle Mokuba Kaiba level 30 and 40 and have a chance that he'll hopefully drop a copy of Kid Moto Dragon which is really hard because there's a lot of different drops in this game as you can see right here and that kind of sucks luckily though i'll show you guys a farm deck that will help you farm against mokuba kaiba at probably around 7,000 to 8,000 score and another good thing too is that you can get a free copy of kid moto dragon if you win seven times against mokuba kaiba so that's a guaranteed copy of kid moto dragon Let's go on to how you can farm Mokuba Kaiba in Duel Links with this easy deck that I can build. It's the Unhappy Girl engine, so let's cut to that real quick. So this is the Unhappy Girl farm deck that we're going to be using the farm against Mokuba Kaiba. I'll tell you guys how to properly use this deck and how to farm with it and all the cards that you're going to need and what cards you can swap out if you don't have certain copies of cards. So first of all, you need three copies of Unhappy Girl. That's a given because it is called the Unhappy Girl farm deck. Just strongly recommend three. I guess you could run one or two, but it's going to be really difficult to farm with this. But yeah, run three of these. Run three copies of Raimei just because um, you can search out Unhappy Girl a lot easier. And also the thing I forgot to mention, I'll show you in the description down below the video. They'll be show you how to get like each of these cards from each set, etc. There we go. Um, next up, we need a copy of Piranha Army. That's a must. We need a copy of the Gift of the Martyr. That's also a must. And Secret Pass of the Treasures. You need that those cards to properly farm with this deck. Now let's go to the parts that you can cards that you can swap out. But these are the cards that I'm going to be using. So. First of all, to for this combo and for this like to get over 10,000 damage to get a bunch of points, you want to have Prana Army on the field, a strong fusion monster on the field, and you're going to want to have Gift of the Mardar and Secret Passage Treasures in your hand. Because what you're going to do is that while Prana Army is on the field with a strong fusion monster on the field, you're going to have Secret Passage of the Treasures and you're going to allow your Prana Army to attack your opponent directly. Since um, Prana Army is below 10,000, or not 10,000, below 1,000 attack, you'll be able to attack directly with Secret Passage Treasures. After you do that, then you're going to use Gift of the Mardar to destroy your Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon or whatever huge fusion monster you have. You can sack that off to the graveyard and give your Prana Army about 1,000 attack. And thanks to Prana Army special ability, when any battle damage your card inflicts, uh, um, any battle damage Prana Army inflicts is doubled. So it's at 5,000 attack or so. That's doubled to 10,000 attack. And that's why this is going to work really good. So that's why you need these certain cards. Now, you can swap out Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon if you don't have three copies of Blue Eyes or the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon card. You can use Master of Oz, which is probably a little much better because it takes two monsters to fuse instead of three. So you can run that instead. It's because it'll equal to 10,000 damage. So it'll be over 9999 damage. So that's really nice. So you can get Master Vows from Chaotic Compliance. Um, another thing that you can swap out is probably this Fusion Substitute. I just want to be safe. So I have three copies of Blue Eyes and then a Fusion Substitute. If you only have two copies of Blue Eyes and Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, you can still run a Fusion Substitute. That'll be just fine. Um, another thing too, I'm running Fusion Gate. You don't absolutely need to run Fusion Gate. I just do it because it'll be a lot easier to set it down in the field. You could still run Polarmization, but Fusion Gate is definitely much better because you can set it in your spell or in your monster zone and or not your monster zone, your field zone instead of your um, hand or setting it face down. Because you know, eventually, as I show you guys, you'll have to discard cards all the time. So Fusion Gate much better for that. Anti Magic Arrows you can swap out. I have Anti Magic Arrows into in my deck just because I can stop Mokuba from using a card called Negate Attack. On the final turn when you're about to attack Mokuba to deal 10,000 damage, this is going to happen on the very last turn of the duel and you don't want him to negate your attack just like that. So Anti-Magic Arrows will stop that from happening. You start to use the battle phase. You could swap out um, good Goblin Housekeeping for different draw cards like Shard of Greed or Jar of Greed. I'm just running this because you can draw a lot of cards with this trap. Running Windstorm just in case if things hit bad and then I have Magical Mount to swap out my hand if I brick really hard. All that stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it on how to use the farm deck. Let's go on to farming Mokuba and showing you how to do this properly. Let's get on to farming Mokuba Kaiba. This is going to be my first time farming against level 40 Mokuba Kaiba and all that stuff. But yeah, we're going to get on to just how to do that properly. 
Let's see if we get a good hand, and then I'll show you step by step on how to farm properly with Unhappy Girl. Hopefully, I don't lose. Well, yeah, we're gonna just wait for this to load. Mokuba Kayaba, Tay Taya Gardener, but ba bum. We're gonna go second. I kind of like going second sometimes. We'll just see what happens. Holy Guard. Let me try this. Um. Okay, this is a pretty garbage hand. Yeah, this is definitely on the garbage side. Okay, then. We do draw an unhappy girl, which might save us. Hopefully. We're going to go battle an Alexandrite dragon. So, Mokuba Kaiba's dragons are really scary, but as long as you have a unhappy girl, you can kind of stop him from attacking and all that stuff. Okay, he's going to tribute it off, but he's not going to attack just yet because he doesn't want to lock down unhappy girl. Or get locked down by ha unhappy girl. We're going to set down good um, Goblin's housekeeping so he can draw some cards. Gonna attack his luster dragon number two, so we don't have to deal with it. Um, when I get the option to activate my trap, like I am right now, I'll just pop it right away. It doesn't really matter. Um, NPCs don't really care. Um, who do we want to return to the bottom of the deck? Um, I mean, we could return blue eyes, maybe. <clears throat> I'm not too sure. Because what with the bright side with this, you kind of know what you're going to be throwing at the bottom of your deck at some point. Um, I know if we send Prana Army, I guess we could send Prana Army. I don't, know, I don't think it really matters too much, especially because we're going to pop more copies of House Goblin. So we know Prana Army is at the bottom of the deck. Should be fine, though. We did get a Fusion Gate, which is nice. We're going to set that face down for now. We're going to summon another Unhappy Girl, and then hopefully at some point we can get a Blue Eyes White Dragon so we can tribute off two of our Unhappy Girls to get a Prismatic Blue Eyes for Prismatic Points. Which is very nice. So right now, that's why I kind of like to run three Unhappy Girls and then eventually contribute two of them off for a strong Blue Eyes White Dragon. But yeah, right now, Prana Army's at the bottom of the field. Okay, so we're going to have Windstorm just face down, just in case of any shenanigans happen, and we're just going to end turns since we have both of his monsters locked down. Nose is a little stuffy right now, which, sorry about that, but... We're going to draw Raimei. We're going to use Raimei to... So now our deck's going to get shuffled because of this. So Prana Army will not be at the bottom of our deck because we're going to search... Oh, we're going to use Rai. Oh, that's fine. That doesn't matter. That's fine. We're going to attack, deal no damage, but we're going to search for an unhappy girl so we can get that quickly. Very nice. So now Prana Army is not at the bottom of the deck anymore. It's not really that big of a deal, though. And we did get our third unhappy girl, so now we're just going to wait till we get our prismatic blue eyes until we tribute for both. Unless he's at the bottom of the deck. Anyways, good guy. I'll blend housekeeping. Um, we're going to probably wait... So we use good go goblin housekeeping, probably. I'm not too sure. Well, all of them are like that. It's like, do I want to throw Gift of Mardar to the bottom? I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Drawing it last, eh, we'll see. So for now, Gift of Mardar will be at the bottom of the deck. Oh, we get a, We did get a Prismatic. Actually, this is what I'm going to do. We're going to send Beast King of the Swamp, because we don't really need him. That will be at the bottom of our deck. Okay, this is a good hand. Okay. So what we're going to do first is that we're going to tribute off of both of the unhappy girls right here for the prismatic blue eyes points towards your score. Next, we're going to flip fusion gate. Um, I don't think it really matters when you do it, so we're going to do it now. We're going to fusion summon our blue eyes for the blue eyes um, or for the fusion points. So we just got tribute summon points. We just got prismatic points and we got fusion summon points. Very nice. And that should be good. Now we just got to keep waiting till we just draw our cards and then go for the just one turn kill. The OTK. The Century Rime doesn't really matter. We're just going to end turn. Right now, Woka Bakaiba can't really do much except put a face down at some point. Can't attack with any of his big strong dragons. We got Magical Mallet. That's okay. Hopefully we can draw our uh, copy of House Goblin. Like right now, that'd be preferred. Let me see. Nope, um, because I think how House Goblin works. Draw cards equal to it's plus one. So yeah, once we draw, we'll draw three right away. So it looks like we're not going to use Housekeeping if we draw next turn then, because then we have Brick. So no more using Housekeeping, which sucks. We're just got to wait these last four turns and just discard cards. Yeah, we're just going to just keep going by. And if we can't get the cards that we need, we can just Magical Mallet. We should be good. Good Goblin Housekeeping. Sadly, I don't need you anymore. 
discard Raimei. So now all we need is just magic arrows and we Gucci. Yep, magic arrows. We're going to discard our other Raimei because we don't need it. And then this turn, we're going to go for the final kill. So this is how you're going to get your 10,000 points. You're going to draw your last card. So you get the points for having cards in the brink. Then you're going to summon Prana Army. You're going to play Secret Pass as the treasures to allow your Prana Army to attack directly. Ugh, running out of breath. And next, you're going to play Gift of the Mardar, so you can destroy your blue eyes to give the attack to your Prana Army. Next up, when you are going to switch your main to your battle phase, the game's going to ask you, do you want to activate anti-magic arrows? You're going to say yes, so Mokuba can't activate any of his traps in the back. And you're just going to go for that nice 10,000 attack. Now, let's see if we can get any um, spicy rewards from your boy Mokuba Kaiba. Let's see. But yeah, that's how you properly would want to farm. Look at all that. Look at all this score. Look at all this score. 8,000 score right here. Look at that right there. So this deck, if you do it perfectly, can get a spicy 8,000 score. If you guys enjoyed this Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelings video on how to get any of these cards in the game or how to farm and all that good stuff, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelings content. That's going to be it, guys. Peace, peace.